Safari extensions are little programs or apps created by developers other than Apple that can be added on to Safari. In Safari Preferences and under the Extensions tab, I can turn on extensions. As I install extensions, they'll be listed here and I'll be able to remove them using this panel as well. Click Get Extensions here and I'll be taken to Apple's Safari Extensions Gallery page. There are a few extensions that are featured here at the top, but scroll down and the most popular are listed. I'm going to install two of these. Adblock, which is great and everyone should install. And MLB.com Toolbar, which will display baseball scores at the top of my browser. Let's start with Adblock. Click the Install Now button and the extension is installed within a few seconds. Adblock is free to install and use, but the developers do request a donation if you plan to keep it. So Adblock is now installed and listed in the Extensions Preferences tab. I can disable Adblock at any time just by unchecking this box. I'm going to pull up a couple sites that I know have a lot of ads. MacDailyNews.com and IdahoStatesman.com Newspaper websites always seem to be loaded with ads. Next, I'll enable Adblock from Safari Preferences. Now, when I reload these sites, things look a lot different. There's a lot more content on MacDailyNews.com that I might be interested in looking at that I could barely find before. Same goes for the Idaho Statesman site. This recent gallery section was buried way down the page before we installed Adblock. Adblock can make viewing certain sites a lot more pleasant, removing a ton of what I would assume most of us would think are annoying ads. Now let's install the MLB.com toolbar. When I click install for this one, it actually gets downloaded. I need to double click on it here in the downloads folder to install it. Here it is at the top of my browser window. I can let it scroll through each game every few seconds. or use these arrows to find the game I want. Click here and I'm taken to the game day page for this game. Of course I can also go to any other website I want and the MLB toolbar will remain here at the top of the page. I want to remove it temporarily, disable it in the Extensions Preference tab. To remove it for good, click Uninstall. So that's a quick lesson on Safari extensions. Go to extensions.apple.com to browse the full selection and try some out. To learn a whole lot more about Safari and OS X, Download our Mavericks training app from the Mac App Store. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Mac.